What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Tuesday, September 1st. Let's start with Tesla. So, of course, Tesla had its five for one split that started on shares trading at the split price on Monday. So, uh, currently at 475 after yesterday's close, Tesla was the seventh largest company in the world by market cap. Can you believe that? The seventh largest passing Visa. I don't know about you. I know a lot of people with Visas and I know a couple people with Teslas. So interesting stuff. De definitely not based on car sales, but you know, really the technology of what Tesla might potentially do. However you look at it, it's a, it's a pretty amazing story, the run that Tesla has been on. I mean, just parabolic move after parabolic move. So we we cashed out of a an iron duck uh, earlier this week, yesterday. Uh, no new trades in Tesla at this point, and it's actually down almost five percent on the day. So a rare occasion when Tesla is actually down, uh, but on top of this meteoric rise, it's got to take a pause every now and then. But look at this too. Here's what I want to point out: is look at the look at the move higher. Now, typically when stocks move higher you're gonna see contractions in implied volatility, but that has not been the case. Implied volatility has absolutely continued to expand in Tesla and the rest of the market. I mean, if you look at the S&Ps, the S&Ps are up 20 today. Typically on a day when the S&Ps are up 20, the VIX is going to be contracting significantly, but again, not the case. Look at the VIX. The VIX is up almost 3% on the day. Uh, with the S and P's moving higher, with the with the Dow moving higher, with the Nasdaq up over a percent, with the Russell up almost a percent, and the VIX is up. So people are buying protection. They are buying volatility. This volatility is getting pushed up in the face of the market rally. So it's not very often that you see that, and specifically. Uh, you know, for multiple days in a row, you know, every once in a while, you'll get one or two days where you have implied volatility expanding, and you have stocks going up. But the fact that we are at all time highs, and volatility is not is not hasn't contracted down to a minimal level. You know, that that says that there is a lot of uncertainty still in the market, even with this continued rally that we're seeing in stocks. Uh, so what else happened today? Gold pretty flat, silver down, uh, bonds up a little bit, and natty gas down about four and a half percent. So that's helping one of our positions. We've got a uh, got a position on in nat gas. A little downside action will help us there. Other stocks, uh, Amba up ten percent. Uh, the big mover of the day though, Zoom, Zoom just zoomed higher, up forty one percent. Now. This little red mark that I put on my chart here, that was the expected move. So the expected move was about $29 plus or minus from where it closed uh, on Monday night. So Zoom came out, announced earnings, and just exploded higher, up 40% on top of an already historic high uh, for the for the. Uh, for the company. So amazing stuff going on. Now, while, here's what's interesting. There was supposed to be a potential announcement of the purchase of the social media app, TikTok. However, uh, I haven't heard anything yet. The two uh, two names that are in play is kind of the favorite were a combo of, of Walmart and Microsoft. Well, Walmart, Walmart is up 6%, but Microsoft is just barely treading sideways, you know, up, up less than, up less than 1%. So not sure if that has anything to do with the potential TikTok news, but, uh, but that's what's going on. Walmart looking uh, like a benefactor potentially and Microsoft just kind of steady eddy. Uh, and then a couple other big movers, Netflix up another 5%. So another big move had a big push higher, kind of consolidated for a few days. Now a big push higher again, uh, creeping up on the all-time highs. I would have to say I'd, I'd venture to guess that we're going to break through that uh, all-time high with no problem. Netflix has earnings coming up on the 14th, so here in about two weeks. So that's uh, got a little bit of time before earnings there. Uh, a couple other things, Lululemon up 4%, the yoga pants still rocking, and they've got uh, earnings coming up on the 
8th. So here a little over a week away for earnings in Lulu. Uh, so what did we do today? Well, we put on a little bit more. There's the closing bell. Uh, we put on the a little bit more short delta. Uh, put on one of our bunker trades to help protect from downside action. Uh, so we get a little, just a little bit of risk if things continue higher, but we have an unlimited potential if, if, things, if things fall. So that's what we did today. Rolled one of our positions in Apple. And, that, and the only tr new trade, though, was that bunker that we put on in XLK. So those are the trades. That's what's going on in the markets. Everybody have a fantastic evening. We'll talk to you later.